but it is a GT. There is a slightly difference between SXT version and GT. Besides the bumpers and the wheels on the car, it has a nice uh, scoop on a hood and it has a little bit more horsepower. So this car comes with 300 horsepower. The other one, SXT V6, comes with 292 horsepower. That's super nice, super cool. So why this car is so nice? Because it, it is a popular car. The money-wise, the used car you can buy between, I mean, you're gonna have slightly mileage in it, maybe around 100,000, maybe a little bit more, but you can buy it for the Civic price between 15 and 20,000, and we're talking about 2016, 2019, this one 2019, and I'm not gonna tell you how much it's gonna be sold for, but again, the money-wise and the way it looks, the the car you're gonna get for that money is just insane in my opinion again the 300 horsepower for this car it's gonna give you a lot of joy you're not gonna do the takeover streets and do the burnout you might gonna do it but again this engine uh it's not that strong as a v8 because this engine they've been using it for a lot of different cars like the chrysler dodge the other one and uh the dodge journey grand caravan you name it there is a lot of cars which has exactly the same engine and they do have exactly the same problem as this one but again if we're going to talk about the maintenance about the daily daily driving car this car it is good and it's not going to give you a lot of problems but again for example if transmission going to go out on this car you can buy the used one between 400 and 800 dollars just use transmission complete you don't have to take it apart take it to the shop just buy the used transmission from the junkyard put it on pay extra four five hundred bucks to put it on the car and that's it you're gonna be good the engine it's kind of strong engine it's not on demand and you can buy it between 1500 and about 2500 dollars and you're gonna get the engine used one but again gonna have some mileage but you're gonna eliminate the problem to take the engine apart to change a lot of pieces to put it back together and it's gonna start leaking again i wouldn't do that uh i used to do that long time ago but not anymore so this is the right way to fix the engine and again the small problems on this car for example the oil leak from the uh, oil cooler you might gonna fix it it's not that expensive the pull it out and take the again the parts is so cheap you can buy it anywhere uh the radiators whatever the brake parts it's all cheap and it's not that expensive the only thing is expensive for the maintenance i think it's going to be the tires and again if you want to go with uh, used tires or like Chinese you can buy it no problem but if you want to go go with the good brand and good tires no, not making noise you have to spend money on it because this car has 20 inch rims and you have to spend money for the tires so the way it looks I love the design of that it is not brand new design it's been since 2007 something like that so the before the first chargers in that similar body came out the different design of the headlights and the back of the car but the doors the space inside the car it is exactly the same and the color of that car especially of this car gray it looks so fresh it looks so nice not like brand new car but again so the gt version of this beautiful dodge charger i think it's the best version of the car you know why number one that's because it has v6 engine not the v8 so you're gonna spend less money on the gas number two the way it looks like you cannot say it's a V8 RT, it's uh, maybe Scott Park, yeah, it's a different one. But again, SXT V6 is just simple boring car, but GT looks much better. The front end, the grills, the front bumper, the scoop on the hood, it's all giving you that kind of power. So you're going to feel yourself like it's a nice V8 engine and it's super fast, nice car. So and the people around you, they don't know what you're going to do. Are you going to do some donuts? You're going to do burnout or you're going to just pass it by? and get out of the way so it's nice i mean if i would buy that kind of car again i wouldn't spend the money on the v8 because in my opinion v8 it's kind of more difficult car you might gonna get a little bit more power about 70 or 80 more horsepower but you're gonna get more problem you're gonna get more uh you're gonna spend more money on a gas which is for the daily driving car kind of i would say not desirable in my opinion but again that's the perfect car of the charger the size of the car and the design they made it for it so it's it's kind of all together comparable so nice so cool because i cannot imagine this car with something else like for example 300 chrysler 300 if you're gonna get chrysler 300 s 
which is the, exactly the same size and exactly the same engine. They kind of looks the same, but again, the Chrysler, in my opinion, looks not the way cool this Charger looks. To compare this car with money-wise or the size-wise with something else, I wouldn't find anything. I mean, the Mercedes, BMW, they are more expensive or they're not gonna give you the same joy as this car because it's real wheel drive. It has enough power. So if you are expecting, I'm gonna do some donuts, I'm gonna do some burnouts. I'm not gonna do that because it's a V8 engine number one. And number two, I'm not that kind of person who's gonna try to kill the car right away in front of the people or somewhere just to show up. There is something under the hood I want to show it to you besides the size of the engine 3.6 VVT. That's what everybody can see when you open the engine. There is a lot of space to work on that, especially when it's a V8. I know from the fact it's easy to work on it without removing some extra parts so you can take it out from the top, remove whatever you need, camshaft or to fix the oil leak uh, and something else and just put it back. So one of the common problem, again, for this car, same as for V8, that's the motor mounts and they're not so hard to replace it. They're not so expensive to buy them. So it is a durable car. And if you want to impress yourself and try to work on it, you're more than welcome to do that because the car itself telling you, I do have a lot of space. If you want to fix something with me, just do it, just buy it. You can buy it Mopar, you can buy it from AutoZone or from any other place where who sell parts and do it yourself at home or in your garage or even on the street. Like I, we are in LA and I do see the people working on the cars just outside on the streets. So you can do it yourself because it's a Dodge and the parts available everywhere. Besides the size of the car, it is a huge size outside and you can tell that it has a huge size of the interior space inside the car. So if you open the door and me as not a small person, I'm going to jump on the front seat as a driver. I'm going to drive it right, like enjoy it. And somebody else like me going to come and say, hey, can I drive your beautiful GT? I'm like, sure, go ahead. So he's going to jump on the front seat. Me as a passenger going to jump on the back seat behind myself. And I can do that and it has a lot of space even like that if I'm gonna sit on the front I still have a space for my legs which is kind of cool and I still have a USB cables I can plug my phone and charge it while I'm sitting here and the guy on the driver's seat doing a donut so that's super nice super cool and I think again for the price you're gonna pay for this car it's just a huge amount of car you can get as a used Dodge as a used car for the price between 15, like I say, and 20,000. If you want to compare with something else, you can do it yourself. There is a lot of sources you can check it out and find what you can buy for the same money. Again, for me, if I would choose only one car, I'm going to stick with for a period of time. And you're going to choose between the Prius. You want to save some money and drive the Prius around or you want to buy the Civic. Why? Because everybody around you buying the Civics and probably that's the good choice or Toyota Corolla, I would go with Dodge Charger. Why? Because there is a lot of reason why, and I already told you about it. There is a price for the parts, there is a maintenance. Even if the, the big parts like engine transmission going bad, you still can buy it for not expensive and replace it. Maybe myself, maybe yourself, maybe with your friends, or maybe the shop can do it for you, not for the, good, not for the huge amount of money. So if you want to buy it, I would say buy it. I would approve that buy and I would can tell you about it uh number one i do like the way i'm sitting inside there is a lot of space for my legs there is a lot of space for my butt and the seats kind of comfortable they are look so simple but same time they are comfortable plus driver's seat it is a power seat so means you can adjust it uh by pushing buttons and it's so simple it just like Several ways you can move your seats up and down, back and forth. There is no extra buttons and it's so nice, so cool. I mean, it, it is a simple car. And the whole idea, I think, about this car, it's super simple. It's super nice. It is a spacious car. The materials, don't think about it. There is some parts, all the Dodges, they do have the same problem. And over the couple, two, three years, those problems coming out, especially in the interior. And I'll show you exactly what they are. But for now, 
super nice comfortable car for the driver and for the passengers also uh so all the glove boxes all the features in the car they are made so simple and uh what i do like it has a usb cables port not the usb c what i hate about new cars but this is 2019 some of 2019 they already got the usb c type uh chargers this one just a regular one so there is a lot of parts inside the car on the interior you can find somewhere else for example there is a switch the uh, master switch for the windows and the mirrors it, it's it is exactly the same as uh as a dutch grand caravan mercedes's even the tesla they do have a same one uh which is kind of cool plus all the switches all the light switch here on the left uh even the screen and some of the multimedia features you can find it on the same car i mean the, you, you're gonna find the same way same design on a Maserati Ghibli and some other Maserati I mean they've been collaborating and doing some uh, other weird stuff with those cars even that car is Italian but still you can find a lot of pieces in the Italian car from the Dodge why uh just because it's it was made that way so the even the push start button on the Dodges and the Chrysler that's exactly the same as on the Maserati so if you don't like you driving Dodge you can you can imagine yourself you drive in the Maserati, but if you compare those two cars, I would say better drive the Dodge than the Maserati, from my experience. The steering wheel, uh, the size of that, it made so perfect. That's why people love it for the drifting and for the streets take over, because it's easy to handle it. It's nice to touch it, because again, the steering wheel itself, it's made of leather. There is a pedal shifting, you can change the gears, and uh, probably that's why they're doing it. So the cluster and all formation provided by this car to you as a driver, again, it's so simple. You can choose different options, how to put it here and there. So what I discover right now, there is an application, there is a performance page. So when you're doing performance page, what you can see, for example, you can see the power, torque, you can see RPM. That's so nice. You can see the, the engine, how it's operating, what's the oil pressure. What I do see over the years on the Dodges and the Chrysler, number one, and the, even the Jeep, they do have that parameter as oil pressure and they put it everywhere, everywhere. But again, I think they they doing that on purpose because especially 3.6 engine like this one, it's a common problem when the car losing the oil pressure because of switch, because of the lack of maintenance, people not doing it, they driving it uh, longer than it needed before they do an oil change so the basically oil pump getting stuck or start stop pumping the oil the right way it's supposed to be and the light gonna appear so what the manufacturer want from you just keep in mind that pressure always supposed to be more than whatever desired 23 i think the lowest one on the dodges they they saying it's supposed to be 22 psi so that's why even here when i switch it to the engine parameters number one in the middle it shows me psi for my oil pressure so it is just telling you something and i know why but it's cool so what else we have here there's a home page you can see what's going on with the engine just put it on the gauges the temperature oil pressure battery voltage that's again common problem in this car coolant temperature there is there is a lot of uh problems going on with this engine 3.6 and over the years they've been changing it they've been modifying a little bit it used to be 3.8 before something else whatever so 3.8 3.6 3.6 they redo it again they modified it they they kind of improve it but again over 100,000 miles or closer to 100,000 miles you might gonna face the problem as a misfire so your camshaft failing your timing chain the oil leak uh under the oil cooler it is a common problem and it's kind of normal it's easy to fix the parts are so cheap so all the parts you need from the dealer you can buy directly without buying the chinese parts and they are most of them they so cheap but this car gonna give you maybe a lot of problem maybe not so it depends i have no idea how it works some dodges they just keep giving you problem you keep fixing them doesn't matter what and the problem is gonna come back again the new one the old one but some dodges they driving super nice until 150,000 miles with oil change and no problem at all but again all the problems they are common and they are simple and easy to fix 
so it is a nice car to buy and i want to say thank you for the dutch thank you for you to watching that put some thumbs up subscribe and see you in my next videos bye bye <music>